So this is a new template, Ice Krispy Treats. If you purchased it, thank you so much. If you are watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you purchase this template, there is all the information in the template as far as the fonts used and how to work this template in the sizing. If you are um, watching on YouTube, I'm going to do a quick one and a mock-up of this. And then, like I mentioned in a previous uh, video, I'm actually going to print the party package so you all can see that in another video, not this one. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, change out the text. Actually, I'm going to keep this text. I'm just going to change the name here. I'll put um, Jaden's. Okay. And bring this forward. Better. I'm actually going to change the font properly. Um, I will decide that. But here I put um patrol party. If I were doing a Paw Patrol theme, and I will keep that. I'm just gonna make this very simple. Actually, I'm not gonna do a lot with this one. Uh, just to show you all how to use it. I'm going to do a full party package, though, um, video on Paw Patrol so that you all can see how my mind works in creative. And I can actually change the color of this. Um, so what you see me doing right now is just kind of playing around, um, seeing how I want this to look for my chip bag. And um, yeah, that looks better to me. So, you know, you get to play around with some things and um, make it... how you want it to be. Let me zoom in a little bit so you all can see better. And before I print again, I would take off the shape. And you don't have to use the shape. You can always remove it. If say for instance, you wanted the whole bag to be the background or anything like that. So um, if you wanted the whole bag to have the same background, I'm going to kind of remove some of this effect on this text. Yeah, that looks better. Um, let's see, I'll probably change this color. Maybe we can make it red. You know, you guys have fun with it. Do as you please so that you can get your creative flow going. Oh, no, I don't like that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to fill it. And, you know, something like this. I'll probably change this color now. Just be white. Or blue. I don't know, something. Let me, maybe yellow. Um, it's a little bright, but you get where I'm going with this one. And, um... Again, I haven't really finalized an idea for this theme yet, so I'd have to come back and do the full theme like I mentioned I will. So this looks pretty cool. I'm going to take the shape off of this, the feel off of the shape that's holding in. 
the outline, excuse me. And I'm going to do that. Like that looks way better already. And I might bring in some more clip art just to have fun with this. And these are just images that I found online that when I did not save properly um, or I purchased them, you know, you can bring in the little badge. I'm going to group these two. Move them over a bit. And I might just go ahead and delete out where it says net weight. This is for the single serve Rice Krispie treats, the one you get like a snack pack. Um, then the lunch bag. Let's see, did I install my font? Um, a lot of fonts, guys. I love fonts. Um, they are my tool they make everything kind of look really neat and give you that whole uh, creative touch that you may not find so I definitely encourage you to step outside the box and grab some cool fonts or something and always when I size anything down if I want to keep the proportions I hold my shift key and I grab in because that's how you maintain the sizing if I don't Grab my shift key, you'll see it just goes everywhere. And you don't want that unless you want to skew the text. So I'm just going to press Control Z and undo that. Anytime you see me undo something, um, I don't, I use a lot of shortcuts. So you'll see me do Control Z. Uh, let me take the effects off of this word art. So then that way I can actually get it properly centered. And I'm going to fill it, I think, with that blue color. Grab that. Or, um, let me see. Yeah, something like that. You know, so this would be his Rice Krispie Treat. Uh, very simple. You all know once I do, if you watch any of my other videos um, or purchase any of the other templates and mock ups, once I go ahead and create a chip bag, I usually am able to create the rest of my party items. But sometimes you have customers who don't want a chip bag only, they may just want. Um, you know, some type of just one favor. They don't want a chip bag. So you get to get creative and create something that may not tie to another party item you made. But I definitely encourage you to try to upsell as best as you can and, you know, get the full party package for yourself because obviously that means more money. Or if you're doing it for your kids, you know, that means something that you'll be able to have for them that they may not be able to get anywhere else. So I'm just kind of playing around right now. I'm going to go back to the red and the white and um, you know this is how I would do his Rice Krispie treats. My nephew's name is Jaden so I always think of him when I do Paw Patrol. He loves Marshall. Um, probably a lot of you have children that love Marshall and now that I did that. I'm going to go ahead and group these two as well, just so when I move everything, I can move it together. But I'm going to make this a little smaller, just so. And I think I'm going to change the color on this because I don't like the color. One thing you'll notice since it's grouped now is that I get to affect them both together. I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Control Z. Yeah. So, um,. That is how I would do a Rice Krispie Treat. I'm going to save this as a template of my Paw Patrol template. And, you know, when you save something, I always recommend you save, obviously, the publisher version. 
but then also you want to save it as an image for your mock-ups and your prints. And sometimes when I do something, I'm not sure if I like it, but I get to see um, how I want to do it. Once I get to my mock-up, it really helps me. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the mock-up and show you all how to use that. Yeah, I don't think I would do the yellow anymore. Um, just looking at it. So, I'm a, yeah, I like the white better. The yellow was way too harsh for me. All right, so here's my mock-up. I'm gonna go ahead and um, ungroup this. And one thing you'll notice, there's no background on this. You all can change the background of the slide as you like, but completely up to you. But this is how it would be delivered. I'm gonna go and grab my PNG that I made of my Paw Patrol. Make sure I saved him correctly. Sorry about that. That was my Photoshop. Make sure we saved him. Yep, we did save him in the right place. So I just always kind of double check, double check again that I saved everything. Um, save him here. I did save him. I just saved him with a different name that second time. So I'm going to bring it over. And again, you can do file open. I do a lot of drag and drop. Um, it works a little quicker for me, but you can always open or insert the picture. I'm just gonna bring it here. Drop it. Drop it. Move that out the way. Format my picture. Let's see if this is adequate. Um, I think I will come down a little bit, crop some more of the blue out, just because it's still a lot there. So once you get your mock-up in, you'll get to see if it's too much, not enough, um, stuff showing, and you can edit it. It looks a little better. Um, but you get to play with it. You can see what works best for you. Since this is happening and I see that, um, I would probably just continue to mess with this a little bit to see how I like it to view to the customer. Because I already know when I print it, it'll be just perfect and everything will be aligned to the front. So, yep, this is our mock-up here, you know, and we get to show it off to our customers. So another option would be obviously to leave this black, blue, excuse me, and I feel this shape. With the blue, like a, um, like actual Rice Krispie Treat. I'm going to change the background to be a full picture from the file. I think I like this idea better. And that's what I was saying. Sometimes I'll do a mock-up and I'm not sure. Yeah, I like this idea better. Um, and 
And what I would do is probably, yeah, just leave it like this. Sometimes you don't want to take so much away from the item. So when people see it on your candy table, they still know what it is. Save that one. Paw Control. Saving, saving, saving. Copy that, fill it, clipboard. Actually, let me expand this a little bit. Um, and don't worry, when you go to print this, it will print. The dimensions are perfect for the print. It's just sometimes your mock-ups, you all need to uh, maneuver just a little bit to display appropriately for your customers. So I think I actually like the other one better. And yeah, so um, thanks for watching and thank you for purchasing if you bought this template and mock-up.